guys, it's Dreamy Bunny. I am back with part two of the Nezuko bamboo gag series. I'm going to be painting it this time. I went over how to build it in the last video and now I'm going to paint it with you. So here I'm showing you the paint brushes I'm using. I got those at Walmart. And then I am using this thing that I can't remember the name of to put the paint into. I got that from Plaid Crafts. They actually sent that to me in a kit. And then I'm taking this grass color and I was showing you how much I put in because I'm in between coats waiting about 10 minutes. So don't put a lot in if you don't want it to dry out. And then I'm going to put my first coat of paint on and I'm trying to get in the creases and the cracks of the actual foam because you want to get it as coated and covered as possible on the first coat. I actually turned out to be doing three coats since I could still see the color through the paint. Maybe because it was so like opaque from just being white, maybe that's why. Or the paint I was using was opaque. So, depending on the paint you use, um, I would do three coats just to be safe. So, I am continuing to paint this thing up, this piece of bamboo. So, if you guys want to see like the finished cosplay, it'll be up on my Instagram. You know what my Instagram is, it's Dreamy Bunny. And I'll also leave that link down below for you. And I'll link the part one of this video series so that you can watch that one first. If you have any interest, of course. Um, make sure you get the ends too, like where the wire is. Um, I put the wire in so I could attach the ribbon onto it easier and I actually really like how the wire turned out to be because it did help in the tying the ribbon part in the end so I think it worked out amazing and I'm very very happy with the end results and I hope you guys will like it because I I never seen anybody do it this way but I mean, I've watched tutorials just to see, and everybody does it their own way. Okay, here I am putting the second coat on. I waited about 10 minutes in between, like I said. I did have a fan on to dry it quicker, and I was just putting it on my little paintbrush holder in such a way that it would stand up with the wire so that I wouldn't get any of those indents from the paint drying on at the surface it was laying on. So if you want to try and find something like that, um, I just got lucky and it worked out perfectly for me. So I mean unless you go and get this exact paintbrush holder, it's by Plaid too. They also sent that to me. Thank you Plaid, I love you. And here we go. We're gonna finish coat two right here. My hands are all green. I was turning into the Wicked Witch over here. And I try to keep it in frame. I'm, I'm so sorry. I had a tripod and I was like flipped the other way and it was super hard to see. Here's coat three. This is starting to look like something now, as you can see. It looks really good and really green. So, yeah. And again, that was 10 minutes in between, letting it dry, doing another coat. You don't want to touch it when it's still like tacky because it'll just move the paint instead of going over top of the paint. And then it will leave little unattractive indents of paint that was moved instead of painted over so that's why I wait at least 10 minutes in between or like go do something go watch a video 
go watch a TV show, and then come back to it. And make sure you get those ends because that's important. Very important. Okay, so setting it down to dry. And I figured I'd do a smiley face. Okay, so this is some shading. I got this spongy brush and a dark mossy green and I just am shading it in just getting a little tiny bit on the sponge and then just brushing it into the creases and bringing it down into the bamboo to make it and give it a little bit of shadowing so be very careful don't go too heavy just a tiny tiny bit and just move it around with the little sponge it's a better application if you do the sponge instead of a paintbrush because you get like an even distribution with the sponge so I would try maybe like a makeup wedge or even like an old beauty blender that you don't want like don't care about anymore but yeah I like shading on props because it gives it more note and better looks to it especially if it's in like an anime or TV show where it needs to look a little bit more real So I'm just finishing on this side, just dry brushing it so that it blends into the other paint and doesn't look like super obvious and super weird. So yeah, I think it looks really, really good when you do this. And I personally liked when I did this to the bamboo. You could always skip this step if you want it just to be one shade of green. Doesn't matter. Now I got this plasticky bristled paintbrush and I'm so what I'm doing is taking the plastic bristled brush and I am just dry brushing down vertically so that it gives a texture line effect like bamboo has and then I just keep doing that don't get a lot of paint on like use the paper plate that I use to get paint off of it because you do not want to like mark it up with new paint if that makes any sense at all. But yeah, it looks a lot better and more realistic if you do it this way. So that's why I recommend doing it this way. Next, I am Mod Podging, but what I did was I deleted the wrong footage and here it is done. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I used Mod Podge Gloss so that it would have a nice glossy finish. And here it is, I'm so sorry. Now the ribbon. I got this ribbon at Walmart and it's like the non-wire ribbon. Do not get the wire because it's not gonna tie right and it'll just break and snap through and oh no, don't do that. Just get the normal cloth E ribbon and we're going to then make a loop with the wire, feed the ribbon through and then squeeze the other end of the wire into the bamboo and push it in so that it closes it and then we are going to singe the ends with a lighter because you do not want it to fray and you don't want the ribbon to fall apart so that's why I use the lighter just be very careful and if you're not old enough get your parent to do it because you can really hurt yourself so please 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 use discretion with the lighter but it looks so much better with it finished with the lighter like trust me so I'm going to take the other end do the same thing wrap the ribbon push the wire into the foam so it creates a loop and tightens down on the ribbon just like that and it'll just go right in, tighten up to it, and it's all good. Then I'm going to tighten it down with my scissors just to make sure it's nice and snug. And then I'm gonna tie a knot, just a basic knot, to, to secure it. 
just like that and that's it you're done and you have two nice ribbons to do stuff with yay and here's me showing how it looks so please enjoy and make sure you like comment and subscribe bye